सो हियर वी कैन सर्च एडब्ल्यूएस कॉस्ट कैलकुलेटर और एडब्ल्यूएस प्राइस कैस्ट प्राइस कैलकुलेटर सो लेट मी सर्च एडब्ल्यूएस कॉस्ट कैलकुलेटर ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट एडब्ल्यूएस प्राइस कैलकुलेटर सो जस्ट क्लिक ओवर हियर so i'm going to determine see if i'm using one virtual machine t2 micro for one month so how much i should pay for that okay i'm going to calculate that so we can create a estimate just click over here create a estimate quite simple okay in all company they will use this calculator okay uh so first you have to select the region because according to the region depending upon the region you have to pay for example if you selecting east us region so you have to pay a very cheap amount for example 1 dollar 2 dollar but if you selecting any other region mumbai or any other tokyo region you have to pay more amount okay i'm not sure about that but depending upon the region you have to pay it will be very amount will be very i'll select the region as uh, us east one okay united state uh, east one northern virginia region so then select the service for so consider in this scenario i want to determine ec2 cost right so i'm going to select ec2 machine and you can see that amazon ec2 over here right so beneath you can see one option configure <laughs> so select configure button so now we have to provide all the information like uh, so how many months you want to use like what is the configuration you want to use like region everything we have to select i have been already selected region so i will create a estimate name for example my test estimate we can do any name no problem okay so beneath uh, we have a three option uh, tenancy shared tenancy dedicated instance and dedicated host what is it mean can anyone uh, say it so we have a three types of tenancy right uh, when we discussed about ec2 ec2 based on tenancy ec2 based on cost ec2 based on placement group ec2 based on operator system like we did classified like uh, numerous ways right okay so based on tenancy we have a three types of tenancy what is it mean Uh, what is a shared what is a shared see when you creating a virtual machine so that is going to deploy one shared tenancy public public shared tenancy okay then what is dedicated instance particular eh particular rack space over there right even if you stopping and starting the public ap would not be changed okay then what about dedicated host ha uh. so you will be get one dedicated rack you getting so consider you have a three instances but even though you have to pay for the entire rack so from the entire rack you can create 100 instances but you only using three instances so that particular rack completely dedicated to that organization okay so that is the difference so here i'm selecting shared instance because whenever we creating instance by using aws account okay by default it will go to shared instance consider i'm going to create instance it will go to this particular instance some So consider say is also creating instance. So same rack it will take some space. Maybe besides uh, my space, whatever it can be. Okay. So that is not giving much security, right? But if you want security, then we have to go to dedicated instance or dedicated host. That's it for the security purpose. Okay. Consider. So next, I will select the operating system. We can select Windows or Linux or whichever operating system you want. So I'm going to select Linux operating system. then workload i will select constant usage okay or else we can select daily spike traffic so i will select the default option then number of instances so in this scenario i have only one instance i want to calculate one instance monthly charge whatever can be so come down we have to select instance type you know that based on instance type we have to pay for example if you selecting t series we have a t2 micro t2 nano or t3 micro t3 x large right so depend depending upon the size so depending upon the size memory and cpu will be vary right so you have to pay for that so i'm going to select t2 dot micro and you can see that automatically it's changed over here right if you not providing any value so by default it will take t4 g nano okay so you have to select which you want so i'm going to select t2 dot micro fine so next instance family so that you have to select like uh, uh, how many virtual cpu you want and how many memory you want so by default select it T2 dot micro one virtual CPU one gigabits memory and low moderate and EBS volume so that is 8 GB and on demand server and current generation is and this and all information just leave about it so come down so next uh, we have a three plans one is compute savings plan another one is easy to instant savings plans so both are uh, equal, equal same okay no need to worry about that next is the on demand another one is spot instances so what is the savings plan or reserved instance 
what is the saving so reserved so both are same then what is the difference say consider you have a workload server and you want to keep the server for 3 to 4 years and you know the workload right we have to use the server for 3 years right then we can go with a compute saving plan or ec2 savings plan okay so what is a on demand see whenever you want instance you can spin up or whenever you don't want you can terminate the instance that's what according to your type okay your requirement you can create that instance if you don't want you can terminate okay but if you using savings plan you will be get a 70 or 50 percent discount that's good right so that's what if you know the workload for example you created one application and uh, you going to take this application for 2 to 3 years then you can take this savings plan and you'll be get 50 percent discount that is quite good right that's what what is the spot instance Uh, we can bid what's a bid or auction what's a bidding ah uh, which means ah uh, we can provide a value if anybody is bidding above that value so this will be goes to that person that's it auction okay right so uh, that is a amazon will be have some spare instance in data center that we can take it out fine so here i'm going to select on demand whenever i want to create i will select that server whenever i don't want i will terminate so i will select on demand server so come down okay that is enough and if you want to do any uh, con uh, further configuration for example elastic block storage i want gp2 or iops1 iops2 any specific configuration that you can include over here same as detailed monitoring if you select detailed monitoring for ec2 you will be get one minute metrics as well one minute okay by default it will provide five minute metrics but if you want detailed monitoring so that is going to provide one minute monitoring as well okay for that you have to pay extra charge and as well as a data transfer charge and elastic ip if you using elastic ip that also you can include over here additional cost you can implement okay so next uh, seven add a price let's see what happened and you can see that total uh, how much amount have to pay 364 uh, 364 how many years or how many months 12 months right for one month 3.7 dollar if you using if you using on demand server t2.micro you only have to pay 3.7 dollars approximately it's not a like a precise value approximate you have to pay around 3.7 dollars okay and you can go to uh, my estimate view summary let's go to view summary okay you can see that total 3.7 you have to pay and if you want you can take a pdf or you can uh, take a csv file let me just download a pdf click over here and don't show this message again and okay and you can see that we successfully we created estimate and you can send it to manager or client wherever you want okay client will request see suppose if i'm using t2.micro how much i have to pay okay suppose if i'm using t4 nano how much i have to pay you have to compare that right then you have to call them you have to like uh, explain actually what is the difference and if you using t4 nano like how much cpu actually will be get what is the workload everything you have to explain see and beneath you can see that one more option let me do that see you can see that uh, over here tenant cpu whatever we selected all information you can see over here is it visible okay so here you can see that whatever the information we selected or configuration we selected tenancy that is a shared tenancy and uh, outbound no selected and workload consistent number of instance one everything all information what we selected that is you can see over here right in it out and total amount also you can see that total 3.7 us dollars and for one year you have to pay around 37 or 32 dollars whatever it can be any doubt